हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फोर्स गैलेक्सी सो आर टू डेज वीडियो इज़ ऑन टॉपिक वैलिडेशन रूल वॉट आर वैलिडेशन रूल इन सेल्स फोर्स हाउ टू यूज दैम वाई देर इज़ अ नीड ऑफ वैलिडेशन रूल एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट दैम सो विल डिस्कस एवरी थिंग ऑन वैलिडेशन रूल विद डिफरेंट सीनारियोज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर वीडियो सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद डिफरेंट सीनारियोज एज यू गैज ऑलरेडी नो वी हैव अकाउंट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑन दैट अकाउंट ऑब्जेक्ट वी हैव स्टैंडर्ड एनुअल रिवेन्यू फिल्ड I wanted that annual revenue field should not have negative number and it should not exceed more than 10 lakh or 1 lakh. I want to set up some boundaries to this field. Similarly, we have account number and I want this account number should not be greater than eight digit. That is, it should be exactly eight digit of number. Similarly, uh, I have a custom date field and I wanted cust custom date field value should be within the current year. Should have the current year and the current month. So, if all the above conditions are not met, then I don't want to save the record. I just want it to validate. That is, want to stop the user and want him to enter the correct details according to the expression or the formula I have set up. So now here comes the validation rule. That is to validate the record for the incorrect information. That is stopping the user to. Enter correct information according to the requirement or the expression I have set up. So now here comes the definition of validation rule. Validation rule refers, uh, sorry, validation rule verify that the data entered by the user meet the standards that we have specified before the user can save it. A validation rule can contain an expression or a formula, and a validation rule returns true or false. That is, if it returns true, which this means that the data enter by the user is invalid so we set up our expression in such a way that it should return true for the invalid data validation rule also include the error message which is displayed to the user when they enter the invalid data according to the specified criteria so now let's create a uh, validation rule on our screen and see how we can create them and how we can use them so to test a validation rule our scenario is on an opportunity we have a pick list filled stage and we have one amount uh, filled this is of currency type whenever the stage is closed one i want that the amount filled should have value else it should not save the record so we'll try the same scenario on the screen and we'll create a validation rule and see how it works so here we are on our opportunity record now let's create a new opportunity record and i will show you what exactly i want opportunity name right now i have selected my stage as close one and i didn't provide it or i didn't put any value in the amount field here is the amount field it is blank and i will directly save the record yes without any amount field it save my record and my opportunity uh, stage is close one i don't want this i want whenever my stage is close one i want amount field to be there so to achieve this requirement i will go with validation rules i will create a validation rule and make my field amount mandatory or will throw an error message whenever my stage is close one so now let's create this validation rule Here is the definition of validation rules. Or when to use them and how to use them. So now let's write the opportunity validation rule name. Amount to be mandatory if opportunity is closed on. my validation is active now we have description tab here we can write the description why we want to create this validation rule now we have a error condition formula here we write our expression in such a way that it return true for the invalid data these are the different insert operators operators and here we have different functions so as my opportunity stage is of pick list type so from the functions i will select is pick well is pick well is used 
for the pick list values field. We have to write our pick list value, pick list field name, and it is a stage. Now here we have to write that particular value that is close one. Now I have two condition that is if my pick list is close one and next if my amount is null or is blank. So I will use and operator for both of them. logic is to check the pick list value and the second logic is to check the amount value so now next is if amount is blank we have is blank function also and here we have to write our field name which is amount both the conditions returns true it will going to throw an error or an error message to the user to enter the value for the amount. Now let's check the syntax. No syntax error. Now we have next error message. Here we have to write our error message what we want to show to the user. opportunity amount is mandatory or amount need to be filled now next we have the option where you want to show this error message as that is need to select the error location that is top of the page or on the particular field so now let's save now our validation rule is we are done with our validation rule and it is active so now let's check it code which we have saved and now let's see will it validate or it will save it again without amount now let's try to save it no it has thrown the error message because my conditions return the true that my um, stage is closed on and my amount is blank so it returns the true and in true condition it throws the error message if I change this stage will it throw no because now conditions are not met so this is the simple scenario which i have discussed with you for the validation rules similarly i can have the scenario like if my opportunity is close loss then the loss region should be mandatory so again i will create the validation rule to achieve this now come to the limit. The active limit of the validation rule is based on the different additions. So in the professional addition it is 20, in enterprise addition it is 100 and in unlimited and performance addition it is 500. So to review the, review the limit usage of your validation rule you can go to the setup and on your particular object and there you can search for the limit. There you can see the limit usage for the validation rules hope you guys got a basic idea about the validation rule and how we can create them and, and where we can use them what conditions make us to use the validation rule if you still have any issues or any queries do let me know in the comment section for the next video stay tuned for the next video so till then take care goodbye and those who didn't subscribe yet and those who are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel thank you